Hello there. Now regardless of whether you're using Firefox or Safari, whichever is your favourite, you're going to need the Silverlight plugin. Silverlight is an application from Microsoft that will allow you to view the content that you're wishing to view in the school portal. It's very straightforward. If you go to Google, or here in Google, and type in Silverlight and just click search. You'll see it's Microsoft Silverlight. It's a very straightforward link and download, and there is a download button here. It's a development tool which the uh, developer of this application has used, so you will need this plugin enabled to see the content. So we click here, it's asking on a Mac to download the disk image, which I'm going to do, and I'm going to choose Save File. It's popped that straight into my Downloads folder. It's also given me a window here that I can choose from. I'm going to ignore this and actually open the Downloads folder. I'm going to click this folder here, and I am going to choose the Silverlight disk image. that small window now. I don't really need that and I don't need that. So here we are. Now it's given me a package and within the package are all the files that I need to set up Silverlight. The package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. So the system is going to do a quick check first and make sure that everything is ready for the installation. So we'll just follow the instructions through. Click continue in English, and that's the terms and conditions. I'll continue and agree to the license there. It's telling me how much space I'm going to take up, and I'm happy with the way it's installing it, so I'm just going to click install. Now at this point, it's asking me for my password, which is my administrator's password on the Macintosh. It may or may not ask you this. And that's done. Close and close. Now that should be very straightforward and that should be done. If you want to be doubly sure, you can restart your machine or even just restart your browser, although you shouldn't have to do that. That might be a, an option, though, if there is a slight problem with Silverlight. 